I'm called time out, got angry at a photographer that's on four for taking flash photography while the game is going on. Shame on her, Derek. Shame, shame, shame. Yeah, his play resumes here. Crawford County's up by two. They have the ball with 19 seconds left in the first quarter. Turned down to 12 seconds. Oh, he wasn't expecting that pass. Six. I think it's a long shot, no good. Fourth end of the first quarter is Crawford County 13, apparently not. We went once again. Well, Corey, Carol already has 17 fouls, and that might hurt him going into the second quarter. Definitely will, Derek. It'll come into play. playing a 3-2 zone. Ball's loose. Chase Kimmel comes up with it. Good hustle by Chase. She get passes. Back out to Yusugi. He takes a three. Drano, he hits it. That's that second three tonight. Ed taking some of the weight off Evan's shoulders as far as three-pointers go. Got Brian T that. That was a nice drive and shot there. As Wolf takes care of the ball. Nice to see. As Ed with another three. Oh, good. Close. There's a free-for-all on the court, Derek. Uh, finally gets up a jump ball. What a body. What a body. Trevor County is not too happy about this, but, um, uh, I mean, I, their crowd's really getting angry, but it's always been said that Crawford County fans are just like family. They're a, they're a close-knit community, Corey. Yes, they are, Derek. Haley with the ball. Joe Fullen goes up. A little thoroughbred move there by the Fullmeister. Who gave him that pass, Corey? I didn't see, Derek. Ball stripped away from Kimmel. Ball really being tipped around there, Derek. Crawford kind of finally comes up with it and scores the basket. You gotta grab that ball. You can't just tip it and expect somebody to be there for you. You gotta yeah. have the opportunity to grab Kimmel it. needs to assert his strength and um, uh, just hold on to that ball. Right. He's gotta try to get open off of the screen.
be a foul called on Crawford County. That's the Rocky Schultz's second foul of the day. Crawford County's fourth. Uh, Springer's back in the game now, so I guess you guys angle tape is back in. Looks like uh, Tyler McKeegan checked in as well. Daniel taking the ball. Evan with a long three. Whoa, that was a bad shot by bad. Evan. Yes, it was. Evan's definitely going to hear the air ball from the crowd here. Yeah, he was. He came off the screen with the open shot, but he's just way too far back. That's right. CC Wolfpack with the ball. Inside. Evan steals it. To McKeegan. Looking for somebody to pass to. Excuse me, that was Yusuke to McKeegan. We have about five minutes left in the first half. Tyler McKeegan takes a three and drains it, too. That'll tie the score up. Scores out tied, 17 all. Springer comes down with that rebound. That's number four for him, Troy. Charge called. That's Brian's third pass. That's Wolf's third, Derek. He's gonna get in trouble if he's not careful. Looks like he will come out and go for and check in. Um, that's one of Paley's advantages, Derek. They're really deep on the inside. They've got Springer, Wolf, um, Bullen, and even Rance Brown if they need him. That's right. Rance has stepped up his game. Scored that basket earlier. Two-point basket made by Crawford County. There's Yusugi taking it, no good. There's a foul on the play, away from the ball, it'll be on Crawford County. Joe Fulham got knocked to the ground in that exchange. You went down to the turf, Corey? Is that what happened? Uh, yeah, Derek, I think that's what happened. Tyler McKeegan receives the inbound pass. I think uh, Crawford Paley trying to figure out the pecking order on the inside. Yeah. Hey, with another three, no good. Charging on Crawford County. Hey, it's that's Key's first on the day, uh, the Wolfpack fifth. We have three minutes and 41 seconds left in the first half. Copper County is up 19-17. Ed balling it up the court. Inside, uh, Joe Fullen, he's fouled on the play. He'll shoot two. Well, one thing I've noticed is that Evans usually a really score for Joe. He's kind of been shut down defensively by a couple of times. Yeah, uh, maybe it'll be the same as in the Austin Modern Day game. Maybe it'll come on late like uh, Winchester did. Joe Fulham misses his first free throw. Uh, 
Nice shot, Joe, getting ready to shoot there. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank our game sponsor, Charter Communications. Charter is a wired, wired world company. Thank you, Charter. Two-pointer by Byley on the inside. Chase is fouled as he's pushed out of bounds. Crawford County fans not too happy about that one. That's Josh Barley, second foul. That's the seventh for the pack. Some sloppy defense going on here in the first half. Chase drains it. Nice shot from Paley fans there. Chase hits a second one. Evan CK comes back into the game now. He came out for, or he came in for Chase. Ball stripped away by Evan. Gives to Edgy Sugi, who drives. Foul on the play. Oh, it seems we have a difference of opinion here. The referee is going to call travel, while another called a foul. And the traveling call will stick. Family yeah, fans are none too happy about that one, Derek. I guess the same who traveled before the foul occurred. Um, perhaps uh, the fact that he was being bludgeoned over the head with another player's elbow had something to do with the fact that he traveled. Maybe for maybe. Nice cat knocked the ball away. Nice defense is hustled by Evan. Offensive rebound by Crawford. Crawford drives the lane, picks it up and in. Crawford breaks up a three-point lead here with 151 to go in the first half. Look at it with a one-hander, no good. Crawford County tries to open up the fast break, but nothing doing. They throw it out of bounds. That brings the ball past the mid strike line. Pulling. Back to pulling. Goes the Ugi Wasugi. McKeegan spins. That was another bad shot by him. Yeah, he's really trying to force him, Derek. Greer comes down with it. His ankle's not affecting his rebounding. Well, he currently has five rebounds. So it's less than a minute to go in the first half. Get that drive. Back to Jeff Fuller and he puts it up in the air. That brings the Ramblers is it to within one.
Looks like Crawford will try to stall it out here for the last shot there. Here they go. Working for the open shot. Got 11 seconds left. Tries to block it, but he committed a bad foul there, hacking the Crawford County player. That's Evans first, the team's ninth in the first half. First one is made. Crawford County player gets the pass from Joe Fuller and almost gets the shot of his own. Brown put it in a basket, he has two points. Chase Kimmel has two free throws, he has two points. Daniel Springer put it in a basket, he has two points. Uh, Derek, it's very strange, Evan Seekett has Milch as of yet. That's right. Let's take a look at the rebounding. Daniel Springer leads the team with five. Joe Bullen and Chase Kimmel each have two of three. And Tyler McKeegan and Evan Seekett have one rebound apiece. Foul, Tyler McKeegan, Daniel Springer have two fouls. Evan Seekin has one, Chase Kimmel has one, and Brian Wolf got into some foul trouble early, had three fouls. He also had uh, one steal for Chase Kimmel, one steal for Colin McKeegan, and one steal for Evan Seekin. Now let's take a look at the tournament bracket now as we see Austin beat Modern Day earlier in the first game. And the winner that game was the winner of this game will play off. We will be back in the third quarter right after this. Alright, and we're back with the start of the third quarter. This uh, game is a rematch in the uh, last regular season game for both teams. That game was actually for the PLAC Championship. Uh, yeah, I believe Paley came out on top in that contest, did they not, Derek? Yes, they did. That was a tough game to win at Crawford County. Yeah, um, the Ramblers were down for most of the game, and they came back one by six. That's right. Ram fan Kyle Brown cheer for both squads that, that day. He goes to Paley, but he's also a Crawford County fan. I wonder the which, turn coat. I wonder which team he's reading for today, Corey. All I can say is it better be Paley. He's not going to have a happy day at school on Monday. That's right. That's the start. Ben Elliott takes the ball up. Back out, comes up short. That was rebounded by Mr. Daniel Springer, the DC wannabe. Into Wolf, spins, kisses off the grass. Oh, magnifique. 
That's an extremely good move. Wolf show a little touch in the in the um, low post there. Oh yeah. He's got soft hands for a big man. Indeed he does. That puts Paley up by one, I believe, right? No, Paley's still down by one too. Oh, excuse me. Somebody give me my medication and lock me up before I become dangerous. That's uh, Danny P's uh, third personal foul. First for the team in this set. But I'm sure I'm sure Daniel will be able to battle back. He's a player in every sense of the word. Brandon Bowman. Jeff Holmes checks into the game for a game. Nice second left. Let's see if Evan Seacat can uh, get his game going this half. He was shut out in the first half. Is a foul? That foul will be on Crawford County player. That'll be on Byerly. That's his third on the day. First foul for the um, pack on the on the um, second half. Ball tossed in a wolf. He gives it up to Ed. Ed's a real baller, a shot caller. Chase sets up the offense. Wasugi for the three, misses. Foul call in play on uh, Joe Fulton, I believe. Oh, excuse me, Ed Yusugi, that's his first foul. Ram second. And then Alex hits the first two. Competition for the Rams. The 14th time on the game. Rebounded by uh, Brian Wolf. Second rebound Rams are now down by four. McKeegan bricks it. Lucky Schultz is three, no good. Go for him, Mr. Bad miss. Oh, oh, Joe Fuller just slipped him. Joe Fuller took him out, Derek. They might call that an intentional foul. These Crawford County um, fans are really getting worked up. I hope they don't come out with torches and pitchforks. The Crawford County coach is moving. Maybe he was related to that player. Joe Fulham is fouled. Fouled the Crawford County player hard. Maybe these Crawford County guys just can't take the action, Derek. I think it was a hard foul for him. But I don't think there should be an intentional call. What did they call it? I think they call it an intentional call. I think if we had a replay, we had a replay of that. We, we could, uh, we might be able to tell. I thought Joe didn't really move his hands at all. He just kind of ran into him with his body. Yeah. Maybe he was just trying to um, run past the play and he got caught up. Derek, but I think Mike Brown has to like that toughness in a player. Right. 
Playing for hard nosed basketball. It's also uh it's also uh increases competition. Mm -hmm. County coach still angry. Haley cheer section uh, um, supporting their team there. All of the uh, Haley fans are trying to cheer their team on to victory today. As we get back into play. Uh, loose ball on the ground. If jump ball call. Ball will go to Paoli. What hustle showing out there. Yeah, Evan Seacat didn't hesitate to dive on that ball there. All these guys out there are really hungry for a win. Right. It's all about taking the three. Defense, 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 defense. McKeegan for the tray. Misses. Full with the rebound. Ball's knocked out. Out of bounds into Crawford County. Well, I just couldn't put it in the basket on that trip down the floor. Still with a fifth rebound. Cole put up some good numbers today. Seacat drives in, shoots, he's fouled. Up oh, opportunity for a three-point play now, Derek. First basket, and that was a nice <laughs> Elliot at his second. Team second also. Evan drains it. So after not scoring in the first half, Evan uh, does score and he currently has three points. Foul call. That's going to be on Jeff Fuller. That's Joe's second in as many minutes. That'll be the team's fourth in the in this half. There's 4:34 left to go in the. Um, Third quarter, the score is uh, Crawford County 31 and Paley 27. Patrick Crawford County, I'll go to Paoli. For the excitement, leveling the building and just moving to an all time high. Yeah, Derek.
Get a Brian Wolf at the top of the key. gets down on the floor. He's up now, though. Hey, it looks like he's holding his ribs, Derek. Maybe he got kicked by uh, Crawford County Clare. Maybe. He's not coming out again, though. Evan's a tough little cracker. That's right. Let's say Evan just, uh, Ed just hit his third three corner there. Ed tried another three. Yeah, Wolf is fouled there, Derek. Uh, Trevor County player did not have his feet in position before Wolf took the shot. That foul was on number 22, Brandon Bowman. That's his first, the team's third. Wolf will shoot two. Try to put the Rams there within three. He hits the first one. Bringer comes in. Wolf misses a second. Blocking foul on uh, Crawford County. That foul will be on number 55, Patrick Higgin. That's his second personal, the um, team's fourth personal foul. That's where both teams have four team fouls. Call it travel on that, Derek. I really don't understand the premise behind that call. Yeah, um, for uh, what? For somebody to travel, they have to have control of the ball. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, Derek. Wolf never had possession. There, as many Crawford hands on it as there were his. Bowman. Bowman hits a little um, hook shot in the lane. Rams are now down by six points with 2.55 to go in the third quarter. Wolf came up the ball. McKeegan on the inside. He'll shoot two. And we'll try to get the Rams to within um, uh, four points. Yeah, he does. The score is now 33-37, Crawford County leading. Cut down to a four point lead. See how kind of defense Taylor can play now. Travel. Out on the wing by Crawford County. Ed Wasugi. Oogie Oogie Wasugi brings it up the court. Out to McKeegan, back to you, Stoogie. Tyler might have got away with the left there. Yeah. They kind of shuffled his pivot foot. Stoogie comes out off the screen, drives. He's open. And the foul. 
And the foul. Yes, indeed. He'll have a chance for a three-point play coming up. Help the chance to get the Rams to within one. That's a third foul. Just like Anthony Winchester did with Austin, Evan Fitt has really blossomed in the second half. Yes, he is. Scores now to Haley 36, the Wolfpack 37. The momentum is really starting to swing towards Paoli. Wolf comes up with a strong rebound. That's a fifth day, The Rams can take the lead with this possession. Springer, top of the key, finds Evan. There's a blocking foul. That's on Ben Elliott, a 5'8 um, senior. That's Crawford County, who's Evan's team foul. We got a timeout on the floor. All right, we'd like to take this opportunity now to thank our new sponsor, Charter Communications. Charter is, after all, a wired world company. Thank you, Charter. I can see some of the uh, side Ram fans. Oh, a uh, cheerleader shot up through orbit there. <laughs> A minute and 34 seconds left in the third quarter. The score across the county 37, Paoli 36. And uh, Evan Fukat is really blossomed, like I said, in the second half. We have two two pointers and four free throws for 10 points. Chance here to tie it up for the Ramblers. Drano. Evan slaps that one down. Bullen um, trots back into the game. Evan hits the second. And now he has 10 points scored. And Taylor leads by one. Rebounded by Paley. Joe Fuller comes up with it. Makes that Daniel Springer, I'm sorry. Springer having a good day, cleaning up the paint. He kept the three, misses. That time Fulham comes down with it, gives it to Yusugi, drives in, gets to Fulham, who is packed. Yeah. Coach, just took his jacket off. Yeah, stuff. I know, maybe he's a little bit hot, Derek. Perhaps he would feel more comfortable in some overalls. Evan Sukat is really uh, taking uh, charge of this team here in the second half. Yeah, Derek, he's a um, he's a big game player. He's a baller, shot caller, like I said. Uh, I think it's time for him to step up in this game, take his role as a leader, and um, to navigate the the rim to a victory here. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens in this final minute of the season. Joe Pullen in the gate. 
And they're off. He hits the first one. That's the second free throw. First side knocked down the second as well. There's the second one scored in that nine points. Yeah, Joe's really a horse of uh, many callers, Derek. He can uh, rebound, he can shoot, and he's good from the line, too. And as we've seen so far, he can play tough when he has to. So. Foul call on the play. Personal foul on the round of the Springer against the first person on the foul. Daniel, the Springer, and the Brandon Bowman can't hit the first three throw. I guess like Grant Brown will check the first one. Perhaps Daniel's uh, ankle is hurting him once again. Hopefully we can get that uh, ankle ice after this game. Keep it slowing down. Bowman has a very unique, I guess you could say, a shooting style. Two free throws. Maybe a little bit too unique. McKeegan looking for somebody to pass to get the C Cat. C Cat, there's a blocking foul. Ball in Crawford County. That'll be their ninth team foul, Derek. I'll be interested to see who I call a foul. That's all Brandon Bowman. They send Seacat to the line. He's been very good from the line so far today. He's made six free throws. Blowing on his fingers like a professional bowler. Let's see if he can get a strike. And he does. Coming up soon, we'll see if Paoli can uh, keep their lead going into the 10th frame. He can't knock down both of them. The five-point lead opened up by the Rams now. As Chase Kimmel comes into the game. Crawford County substitutes the player also. Yeah, 17.9 seconds left in third quarter. Uh, it's up by five. Kellen Brown comes into the game for the pack. Foul's called on the Rams. <laughs> And Joe Fulham receives the foul. Looks like Haley is putting some of their three point threat for the last shot for the corner. Yeah. He can drive down. Yusugi hit the last second shot. To put the Rams up by five points going into the fourth quarter. Well, that's really playing good tonight. He has 11, and he's, he's now the second game scorer. Right at, at, at the end of the third quarter, and the score is 44, Copper County 39. I'd like to thank our game sponsor, Charter Communications. After all, Charter is a wired world uh, company. Thank you, Charter. Corey, let's see how uh, this team got to this region. Really, they took their own section and had the first round by. They then beat Clarksville 73 to 39. 
Both of these teams are no strangers to close games. That's right. Many have been involved in uh, battles over the, over the years against uh, Haley and Cocker County. And it's been sort of a rivalry in the PLAC. PLAC is a very tough conference to play in. Brian Wolf, who gets the sea cat. Rams has got numbers. McKeegan hits that easy layup. <laughs> Bowman answers the back door, and he puts up a two pointer. Back to McKeegan. Bowen's open down low. Back to McKeegan. Wasugi, Ugi, Ugi, Wasugi has it at the top of the key. Out to Wolf. Oh, Wolf, a bad pass, intercepted. Jump ball called. No, go to, right? no, to Paley. <laughs> That's what those little red arrows are down there for, Derek. Thank you, Corey. <laughs> no problem. Out on the play, he'll shoot two. It's all the explosiveness and quickness of Cat right there. Yeah, I think that's something that um, Coach Bill Carmody really liked when he was recruiting the mm -hmm. uh, Bill Carmody being the coach at uh, Northwestern, of course. For those of you who don't keep up on Big Ten basketball, we talked about the uh, first game. Evans going to Northwestern, playing the Big Ten. Rams now by six points, 47-41, with 6.35 to go in the game. Corey, if Evan hits this, it will be a 10th made free throw. And I think he's 10 of 10. Yeah, Derek. Evan's really threat from the online if you keep fouling him. County, playing a little half court ball, down by seven. Blocking foul on the Rams. Was that'll go maybe against seven C cat. Season is on Brian Wolf, and that's his fourth. Apparently has 17 fouls. Well, it's gonna hurt uh Haley's inside scoring. Slap my wrist and call me Susan, Derek, because if I didn't know better, I'd say that Wolf is in trouble. Now the referee has gone to the scorer's table to uh, discuss something. Crawford County fans looking a bit uh, downtrodden. And Josh Byerly shoots two. And this is the first. 
Yeah, he missed it like a Plinko chip on Bar Bob Barker's birthday, Derek. That one is no good, too. Right? And the second. Wolfie comes up with a strong rebound. That's rebound number seven for him. Once he takes his claws into that ball, nobody's taking it. Pulls to McKeegan, he's calling for it. Then gets the pull and he's stripped inside, but no foul called. McKeegan had knocked the ball away, but the Wolf Pack will retain it. There's a no call right there. But... Perhaps the refs are laxing off the um, uh, fishing, just letting these guys play, Derek. Yeah, there is five minutes and 43 seconds left in the first season. The Wolf Pack is hit for Pressure on his Fuji, dribbling. They said he stepped out of bounds. Good pack in possession. Try and get inside. Kick nice, it back out. Nice passing going on. Yeah, very crisp. Three. <laughs> Rocky Schultz knocked down the tray. He has been double team. Drive. Nice shot there by Oogie. Put the Rams back up by six. The ball's lost. Almost hit Evan Hetzige's head off. They'll go back to the pack. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, this being a regional game, Derek, they can't afford to hold Wolf out. I mean, uh, Fullen out, my bad. You know what I meant, right, Derek? Back to Yusugi. I was having second steal in the night. I think it's free and he keeps it back. Yusugi takes it back out to the top. A little shake and bacon. Springer pulls up. That's that sea cat. Oh, sea cat. Sorry, Derek, my eyes dust deceive me. Timeout. Rams still up by six points here with 3.54 to go in the fourth quarter. All right, we'd like to take this opportunity to once again thank our game sponsor, Charter Communications. After all, Charter is a wired world company. Thank you, Charter. You see, Coach Mike Brown got his team huddled up. Derek, if I had to um, shoot a guess out there, I, I think he's telling this team that he would like to win this game. That's a good assumption, Corey. Thanks. Right. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our uh, producer, Michael Nye. He is a fine fellow sitting back behind us. Yes, and his uh, parents also, uh, Martha and, and Stan. And Stan, yes, they brought us down here all the way from Paoli. Fine folks themselves. Yeah. I think they're uh, singing us too, Corey. Is that right? Uh, I believe that's right, Derek. And that, that's no small task considering my girth. They might have the losing end. <laughs> of that situation. Well, we come back to action here. Garvin County gets the ball. And we finally pick it up. Get inside there. 
that shot falls. Wolf at the top of the key. Back to Wolf. He's trying to get open some more. Looks like the Rams are uh, using some of the clock. Which is a good plan. Keegan back out the wolf. He gets the sea cat. He drives. Kicks it out the wolf. Wolf drives. Into Yusugi. He's fouled. McKeegan, I'm sorry, Derek. I can't see anything. Here, Derek. Clap my hands. You heard it, folks. A little high-pressure shot here. Uh, McKeegan has, although, uh, shown that he can't play under pressure. And I jinxed it. Me, me and my fat now. Uh, oh, he just missed most of these. But you see. That's his first rebound day. What an important one it was. Wolf back it in. Back to Sea Cat. Drives back to Wolf. McKeegan, top of the key, kicking around to the wing, reverses his field. Back to Yusuke. Timeout call by Paoli. Rams are really effective at uh, eating away the clock there, Derek. They've got a four-point lead. Yes, the clock is down to uh, minute 59. Mm -hmm. It will be a 30-second timeout. And that was a good decision by Daniel. Uh, uh, somewhat Eric Pass and uh, Eddie Fizzy. Daniel came up with it. Wanted to uh, make a smart decision and not turn the ball over. The, the Paley crowds and fans into the game here. They're proud of the Rams with a four-point lead. Boy, when you think about this regional, so many of the top teams are in this regional, and actually in uh, Class 2A, four of the top ten teams were uh, out of the tournament. Uh, they didn't get past your section. Yeah, really tough this year in Southern Indiana. Yeah. Ball's a wolf. Wolf gets it back. Uh, Carver County playing a little half court trap here. Derek, all that's left is for um, Joe Fullen teammates to keep this lead going to the home stretch. That's right, Corey, as we uh, take this opportunity to thank our game sponsor, Charter Communication. A Wired World Company. Thank you, Charter. Charter um, provides the uh, cable and other uh, communications um, resources for the Paley and surrounding area. That's true, Corey. Thanks once again, Charter. That's Mike Brown used that 30 second timeout to uh, hopefully calm his team down a little bit. Tell him to, uh, I bet he said that he wants to win, Derek. Well, he probably said that too, Corey. He probably told the team to try, he wants them probably to uh, calm down a little bit and, and uh, take a deep breath. Play aggressive, but also play smart. Think about your happy play. The ball's knocked out of bounds by Crawford County. With 148 left to go in the game. Crawford County caught Haley asleep a little bit there.
Wolf to Springer, dry. Oh, and the foul. Brian Wolf is all about that. He's got the hot dogs in the bunch ready. Let's have a barbecue. Wolf, the quiet man, gets some loud applause from the crowd. And Wolf was the uh, player that stepped up in the uh, first couple of county games. He uh, looked at them when they were down the stretch. Wolf was all about that. He went back up strong. There's our exchange student right there in the Pilly Rams t-shirt right behind the, um, the bench. Raul, Raul from Mexico. He joined us this semester. Wolf drains it. That's his sixth point, and it was a very crucial free throw. Yeah, Wolf, uh, he nails when it comes down to the line, Derek. Haley has a seven-point lead with a minute 36 left in the game. Plenty of time, as we see, for Carver to come back, though. It could be a photo finish. I think it's called Carver County. Drove in the lane and scored and, and uh, used to put time out. So with a minute 33 seconds left in the game, Haley leads. But there's still plenty of time left to, uh, for a couple of time to come back in this game for him. Take a look at the uh, Paley fans. There's uh, Susan Barwee waving to the camera. And John Barwee with a big smile on his face. Those are the parents of one of our cameramen, Ryan Barwee. Ellie's ball. Be a, a, um, a foul on Crawford County. That will be their 11th team foul. I believe that uh, rockets them in the double bonus right there. Two free throws for every foul. Not a bad deal at all. Like a blue light special at Kmart. Oogie Wasugi going to the line. Sweet Sassy Molassi. He drained it, Derek. You have to look at a key to this game. It has to be free throw shooting. I've only seen Paley miss two, maybe three free throws. Yeah, they've been they've been really tough from the stripe today, Derek. And a second, which gives Paley a um, uh, seven-point lead with 120 to go in the um, uh, game. Paley's ball now. Seacat has it. Let's take it to the court. Wolf drives. Back over to Evan. It looks like he was hugging him. Uh, yeah, Evan's been fouled here. I think it's called a TLC foul. A little bit too much tender loving care, Derek. <laughs> Evan will shoot two. I believe he's 100% on the day, right, Derek? Yes, I believe he is. No way. I think, I think he might have missed those first two. Oh, wow. Well, he's 100% uh, in the second half. Yes, very good. Thank you for the save. Oh, yeah. Derek, like, we need to just shut up because we're jinxing it. It's like I just jinxed up. I am sorry, Evan. I just... We're zipping it up. Let's let him shoot. Oh, he makes it a second. Rams go up by eight points now with 105. Corey Evans shot so many free throws. I'm about Derek. to run out of room. Yeah. Another steal by the Rams. Edgy Sugi's foul. Make that Tyler McKeegan's foul. No, that's Edgy Sugi. Make that Edgy Sugi's foul. <laughs> Just for you um, at home that might be wondering, I left my glasses at my house today and so I'm kind of squinting down at the court. Up at the top of the uh, 
Eddie hits the, set, the first. This gives the Rams a commanding lead going into just one minute left in the game. Ed shoots. He knocks it down. Wonderful shooting by Eddie. Oh, and Papa Tay almost lost the ball. I don't know why they didn't call that a kick, Derek. It looks like his foot hit it. Another steal by Paley. Crawford County with really sloppy that ball handling. That was got kind of a start steal. Loose ball. Paley comes up. Another foul. Paley will shoot two once again. One by one, Paley is driving the nails into Crawford County's coffin with these free throws, Derek. Number 33. Rocky Schultz is fouled out. And this will likely be his last game. Most likely. He has to feel disappointed. Pelly with a 10 point lead with only 41.9 seconds to go. Has to feel good about it. Kind of cushy, isn't it? Like a soft velvet pillow on a summer day. All right, Corey, if you want to think of it that way. Then... Or a cumulus cloud on a nice spring afternoon. That too. Or a lead in the regional. And that's our situation right here. Thank you, Derek. That was Ed's fifth free throw. See the Paley fans cheering. Rams now up by 12. There's 38 seconds left. Ball pass. Crawford County now in their death throws there. Desperate shots being thrown at the basket. Desperate time. Require desperate measures. Thank you, Derek. I can put the phone in my pocket. No problem. We're cool like that, right? That's right. Evan Seacat gets the Ram fans cheering. That's my eyes to see. Where is that Ben Flick in the game, there? As you see, uh, there's uh, Mr. Joe Kimmel, the father of Chase Kimmel. Proud father. Eric, once again, is that, is that Ben Flick in the game? Yes, we have The man who has been on his backside hundreds of times. Oh, Paley, oh, hold on, Derek. Paley did a technical foul called on them here. They had too many players on the court. Can't do that, Paley. No, it's a bad thing. Yeah, he hits it, but um, it's mostly just... Uh, it's 5 foot 11 feet. Hopeless for Crawford County at this time, pretty much, there. They're still down by 10 with 27 seconds to go. Paley has a 50 to 50 lead with 27.4 seconds left. And they all take the ball out. CC Wolfpack looking for a shot. That's an air ball. Well, there's a push out of bounds, but they still say it's Crawford County's ball. Maybe a little frustration showing on the part of the Crawford County players, Derek. Yes, I think that might be the case for you. 14.8 seconds to go in this uh, regional semifinal contest. Paley's up by 10. All to do now, Derek, is to wheel the fat lady out and let her belt out a number. Seven seconds, Derek. I don't 
know about you, but for my money, it doesn't get any better than Whitney Houston singing when a man loves a woman. That'll do it, folks. Paoli Rams win this game by 10 points, 60 to 50. Now let's go to my great friend Derek with some stats.